from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. More protests overnight around San Diego County. Downtown San Diego and Escondido packed with demonstrators. Things stayed peaceful for the most part, and while there were a few tense moments, it did not escalate into looting. In Santee, deputies did take two people into custody after protesters said a woman pointed a gun at them. There were also peaceful protests in other communities. The calls for action prompting a big change for the San Diego Police Department. Chief David Nislight says the San Diego Police Department will no longer use the carotid restraint. That change is effective immediately. The Racial Justice Coalition had been fighting for the ban since 2017. The carotid restraint, also sometimes referred to as the sleeper hold, is when an officer puts an arm to put pressure on the side of a person's neck. Starting today, San Diegans can sunbathe at the beach again. For the first time in months, sitting on the beach, on a chair, or lying out on a towel with members of your own household is being allowed. But you still cannot engage in group activities such as football or volleyball. Also, parking lots and piers are still closed. Let's check in with Megan Perry to get you caught up on the forecast. Hello, Megan. Hey, good uh, morning, Virginia, and hello to all of you out there. Today is going to be a little bit warmer than yesterday. Temperatures trending about 5 to 10 degrees above normal. Low to mid 70s along our coastline, low to mid 80s inland, low 80s in the mountains and about 104 in the deserts. Tomorrow will be the warmest day of the week when we'll see an excessive heat watch for our desert areas. That will be in effect through Thursday. Temperatures will be nearing 110, somewhere as close to 112, but it will be cooler by the weekend. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Chaw.